Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back for another high-level match of Warcraft 3 taking place here at Last Refuge back in 2018. Between none other, but look who we got here in the top right. Of course, Happy, the best player in the world, who 2018 wasn't really solidified yet as the best player in the world, but he was certainly taking over already that was the year he kind of started taking over versus none other but a legend an ex-world champion of the game that is todd as the human back in the bottom left let todd and this apparently was a silver highlight as well so i'm very curious to see how todd was holding against happy back in 2018 now i'm not gonna repeat myself over and over and over we all know when we're watching old games old replays just because of how warcraft was made back in the day kind of breaks everything so we can't use no overlays and no uh other you know goodies that we are used to so it is what it is but i'm gonna do the best i can to show you everything that's happening and uh, what will be coming here i guess by the placement of the altar and happy happy looks like he might be coming for this uh goblin merchant now that's usually a uh, risky business Our forces are under attack. but very 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 rewarding also it looks like a uh, fiends build as well dk is out Archmage is here now for Lethod. Of course, Happy's gonna come to Karastot from the get go. He's not wasting any time at all and he's making his way down to the bottom. Now, Lethod is picking up a close of attack plus six. In the latest patch, we nerfed the close of attack down to plus four. Here back in 2018, that is plus six. And I believe that was 1.30, uh, the version of the game at the time. Upgrade complete. Upgrade complete. Okay. Seems like Happy's gonna start going for the Fiends very soon. He is still here though, close by Todd, willing to exchange Todd. Of course, giving him the respect he deserves, but still... Not really worried about Happy at the moment too much. And he's kind of flexing on him as well. Happy is forced to retreat. Okay. Happy being happy, of course. The aggressor in 90% of the times. You can see he's a bit sloppy here. It's nothing like Happy of today we know. Uh, he's got the right ideas, but his executions are not as perfect. He's not the same Man of Steel that we know nowadays. Okay, nice kill on the militia there. But looks like he's uh, taking care of the expansion here. Up is still chasing from the back. And now Todd is turning some of that militia back over to Happy. And he's gonna... Finish off the expansion Starcraft style. Gloves of Haste here waiting for him. And Happy is forced to retreat. But he's got Fiends now. Starting to arrive in full support. There we go. And more on the way. Tier 2 halfway through. Hot with the Lumber Mill. Of course he's going to expand first. So no Tier 2 teching for him yet. And if you ask me. That's kind of late. That is kind of late. Mantle of Intelligence as well. For the Archmage. TP. Happy back in those days. Still not selling TPs. Vine Rod and Necromancy. The sleeper, the sleeper continues to awakes. And Happy's going to come for round two here. But Todd is building the town hall already. Still no tier two. Lumber Mill almost finished. More food is on the way. Okay. Todd is keeping aware of Happy scouting with our foodie. Nice job by Todd. By the way, he finds out of Happy's arrival. 
I like the way Todd is creeping StarCraft style in this game. And of course, if anyone can play StarCraft, that's those two. Who, by the way, had some epic battles back in the StarCraft days as well. For those of you that don't know, Happy up until 2018. Uh, he used to play Warcraft at a very high level as well. But he was more focused on StarCraft, really. So I guess if you are new here... Or you might be old into Warcraft, but you didn't know this about Happy. There's a nice little interesting fact I just gave you. Happy was really, really focusing on his StarCraft for a very long time. Until he decided to fully dedicate into Warcraft. And of course the rest <laughs> is history. I guess part of the reason why he's so perfect into his builds... Uh, it's because he plays StarCraft in the beginning. And that is usually a signature to players that used to play both games. Like Lin is another example. Uh, he is absolutely flawless when it comes to builds and, and, and stuff. Hitman could be another one. And again, also playing StarCraft. Now Lich is arriving as a second hero. For Happy, Todd is finally going for tier 2, Blacksmith as well. Summoning is complete. We got an illusion here. Todd will aggro the creep. But Happy is here, ready to take on. Oh, will we? It looks like he might not. We got the... Summoning is complete. Statues arriving as well for Happy. From the slaughterhouse. Ooh, and they are about to meet here in this choke area of the map. Mm, not really. It's going to go down at the expo. And the shop got cancelled. Ooh, Archmage is coming from behind though. Uh, that's only an illusion, of course. Otherwise, nice surround from Happy on the illusion. But he wished that was... A bloody real Archmage. That was a nice footy kill there with the Frost Nova from Happy. And Todd continues to push against the Fiends. That's loads of footmen to be honest. With the Fen upgrade. That's, they're very difficult to deal with. All these are, I feel like a very underrated unit. They're a better unit than people give them credit for being. And I think Todd here is showing. Oh, nice play with Todd. Uh... From Todd with the illusion. He went behind, aggro the goblin merchant creep, and drag them behind Happy's army. And Happy ended up between the anvil and the hammer. So he was forced to TP. Now Todd is looking to take on the uh, merchant, of course. That's another illusion. More and more fiends are arriving for Happy. Crossing over from downtown, landing on the Archmage. Archmage is out of mana here. Oh, there's so much going on. The creeps are getting involved yet again. Hot picking up the item though. Greater mana potion and that's level 4 Archmage now. Happy continues to press forward now though. And now he's taking on the creep, picking up Tome of Knowledge. And that's Lich level 2 here. Nice. Tier 2 is finished. MK second of course. Rifleman, Lumber Research, Gunpowder, okay, and Arcane Sanctum, okay, a bit different than the current human meta back in 2018, but I am all for it, Rifleman with Inner Fire is a super strong strategy even in today's uh, 1.36 patch, don't get it twisted, don't get it wrong, okay. DK picking up healing wards here. Uh, Lich is going back. Orb of Corruption. Yep, there we go. And now let's see what hero is Happy going to pick up here. Level 3 DK. Happy is starting to reach in those levels that he wants and he needs. We're going to follow up Latod. Who goes a small invo. Boot to speed. Big invo now. From the second goblin merchant on the map, plus double heal scroll, that's super good. Super good for Todd. 
And now he's on the move as well. Happy is coming for another expansion attack. He's picking up Dark Ranger as a third hero. All this stay in a tier 2. Of course, when you go for a rifleman, uh, you don't really need tier 3. At least you don't need to rush for it. Ooh, now Happy is taking some of those peasants as well. This Lich, not as a high of a damage dealer as usually. Oh, I like the, fa the farm build here. I like this by Todd. That will significantly slow down Happy in eventual retreatment. Now, one thing I've always uh, wondered about Todd, he has taken the laboratory here, Mana Stone on the MK, and now he's going to TP. One thing I've always noticed on Toad, oh, the positioning of this TP, super bad for Happy, he kind of TP'd in the middle of him. But silence came from the Dark Ranger right away, and the Archmage, and the Priest as well. The Priest is still actually blocked, oh my god. But yeah, one thing I've noticed with Toad, another peasant dies in the middle by the tavern. One thing I've noticed about Toad, um... Even in today's games, like, sometimes he gets attacked and, like, it's almost as if, like, he doesn't feel pressure at all. He allows the attack to keep on going, keep on going. It takes him way too long for him to go and defend. And I've recently, well, not recently anymore, but it's been maybe last month or a couple months ago, I casted the game between Todd... And who was his opponent in that game? I believe that was TGW or Shake, one of the Russian strong players. And Todd lost the game there. I believe it was TGW because I remember it was against Elf. And Todd basically get kept attacked at the main base. And for some reason, um, he didn't really feel necessary to react quick. And he was just giving TGW way too much time. And uh, yeah, that cost him the game in the end. Uh, Flute of Accuracy on the MK, I can see. And this MK is turning into a beast. He's been given the greater mana potion as well. There's an Ivory Tower on the Archmage now. And Happy crosses the low keep. And this, and this MK will be a beast now with that greater mana potion. Already level 3. The more kills he finds... Oh, nice placement of the Sentry Wall there from Happy, but the Archmage quick to cancel it. That's another clap. Oh my goodness. Stormbolt. That's going to be too much for uh, Happy to be dealing with. And you can see he's already retreating, losing loads of things, losing statues. And he's back down to no upkeep. 46 supply at the moment. And I'm just going to quickly switch to Todd just to show you. He's sitting at 65 at the moment. Happy apparently going for abominations though. Who with cloud uh, disease already. That will be difficult for Todd. So Happy counters the rifleman with the abominations. He's got attack, creature attack at 1 for the fiends. Happy didn't waste his time uh, with a farm. Although despite the fact he saw it. But now Todd knows as well that Happy is coming down here. Oh, Koyo Frostnova on the peasants. And those peasants, poor little peasants, they're already down. But now Todd is arriving from behind. Clap with the MK. And now the MK will be pulled back a little bit. One thing is falling down. Now the Dark Ranger kind of in a bad position there, really, if Todd decides to go for it. Instead, he's targeting the statue. Kills the statue. And Happy taking out the town hall. And now he's going to TP. But meanwhile, though, crept the natural for Happy, really, up in the north. And he's ready to potentially expand there. There's also added sorceresses to this. He's not going for tier 3 yet. Happy now will continue the creep. Level 3 DK. Can he reach level 4 here? No. Sharing the experience. Lich is level 3 as well. Dark Ranger is level 2. Happy is starting with the skeletons. Todd, meanwhile, coming for another red camp. And he picks up the Legion Doomhorn. There's Tome of Agility on the floor. The Flute of Accuracy has been given to the Archmage, of course. Happy picking up the Mercenary Camp now. We got Cloak of Flames on the DK. 
who has reached level 4 finally. And a Dark Ranger is catching level 3. Oh, amazing. Amazing. I can see why this is silver highlights, really. Okay, Happy finds the tower. He's about to take this tower down. There's still more creeps on the map. Oh, not really. Pod just uh, cleared out the giant sea turtle level 7. Picks up a ring of protection there. More abomination are arriving for Happy, meanwhile. Okay, these uh, giant sea turtle level 7 on the north side are still standing. Happy's gonna take care of this troll high priest first. Okay, we got Sentry Ward on the Dark Ranger. Uh, is Happy going for the Giant Sea Turtle? He must be going there. Yeah, this one has been taken already. But Todd is making his way right there though as well. And Todd knows. He's going there right now. Happy taking on the Giant Sea Turtle, level 6. Oh... Pot is going to corner Happy from behind now. And there's no escape for Happy here. He's going to have to reposition. The statues were exposed from the get-go. Slippers and ring on the Dark Ranger. And Happy, I fully agree with his TP from Happy. He had to do it. He's in a low upkeep again, by the way. 65 versus Todd is sitting at 73. However, it's two race versus one at the moment. More riflemen for Todd. More sorcerers. Adapt training for the priest as well. We got gunpowder at two, by the way. All right. So... Uh, Two, four, six abominations for Happy. That's quite a lot of abominations. More statues. Of course, A bombs are a good uh, counter to the rifles. The problem is that Todd is um are these sorceresses as well. More are coming to the aid of the humans, and that is a very good counter to the abominations themselves. A sorcerer. God nuked, unfortunately, for Happy. Uh, for Todd. But now Todd is here with a clap and Blizzard relearning the Archmage skill tree level. And going for Blizzard instead of Water Elemental. Those abominations are literally melting. I told you, slow from the sorcerers are, are not good for those abominations of Happy. I think Todd just about lost the rifleman now. You can see those humans are sending those undeads back into the abyss. And now Happy's gold mine is nearly empty. And how is he go how can he respond here? It looks like Todd is winning this. So long as he keeps a cool head and doesn't do anything rushly. There's no way back for Happy here. Looks like we're about to hit the GG. Hold on. MK and Lich are going at it. One on one in the middle. Lich is reaching a level 4 as well here. Dark Rangers level 3. DK is level 4. More Blizzard is falling down from the sky and more and more riflemen are coming that's insanity yeah it looks like gg boys is just a matter of time when he's happy gonna call it oh my goodness what a silver highlights i am just witnessing can you believe it boys called back in 2018 of course he was more active then but just look at the levels of Warcraft we are witnessing here. Todd with literally a perfect human game, really. And showing all the humans how he's done with riflemen and casters as well. You don't have to necessarily do knights all the time. 
as a human versus undead. Uh, the Archmage was in a bit of trouble though. And Toad is doing the same thing. TP in a way. And is Happy gonna try to take a next gold mine now? He's unsummoning the Altar of Darkness. That's something Happy is doing even now a lot. Buys an info potion for the DK. Uh, gives it to the Lich, I guess. Yeah. And he's making his way down, but the... The human army is way too strong for Happy, I'm afraid. He's still fighting, he still doesn't want to give up. More abomination, he thinks that... Mass abominations are gonna save him, apparently. Uh, I don't agree. Okay, we got the armor at 1 on the A-bombs. But I'm of the opinion that Happy should have just... Carry on making more uh, fiends. Yes, have a bombs at the front line. Because that will give your fiends more time to do their thing, which is deal a lot of damage. Unfortunately. That's not the case in this game. I'm happy he's putting all his chips into the A-bombs with the statues. And of course, triple heroes hoping... He can have one of those crazy happy micro moments. And now micro uh, taught despite the fact that he is overwhelming happy in every aspect of the game. Whether it's upgrades on the army or anything else. Big clap again from the MK. That blizzard. Dark ritual from the Lich on the A-bomb. So that denies any experience for the humans. Sl Silence on the MK. That was good. Quick reaction for Happy. Coil comes for the Lich. Now Blizzard is raining down again from behind. Another clap. Those A-bombs are slowed down yet again. More Blizzard. Oh, Todd is... Todd is cooling Happy here. Level 6. And level 6. MK and Archmage hitting level 6 at the same time. Oh, hold on. Coil Frost Nova. Happy's trying to nuke down the MK. It's not really happening. MK is still alive. Still breathing. And Happy is now out of money as well. There's nothing more he can unsummon. He's moving with the Acolytes. The fight continues. And Happy is not giving up yet. But when will it be enough? Actually, enough for Happy. Can he somehow still overcome this? I don't think so. But then again, I'm talking about Happy Dark Ritual on this A-bomb as well. So again, he continues to deny experience for the human. He lost that statue there. Though. Oh, the Lich slow. And Koyo is coming on time to save the Lich here. Uh, took a bit extra damage from the Blizzard as well. There's a Destroyer in the air. Another statue. Okay. Happy is literally unsummoning all the buildings. Selling items. Buying mana potion on the DK. Happy still doesn't want to give up. Sells more items. His supply blocked at the moment though. He doesn't have any more ziggurats. That's as far as Happy can go in terms of army. Can he somehow overcome? I don't think so. The MK is silenced. Frost Nova comes. Oh, Stone Bolt. Where's the Blizzard? Blizzard? Not wasting his mana. Coil, of course, Coil is coming. Although being a level 2, this Coil is very potent already. Okay, Dark Ranger is hitting level 4 here as well. But that's another Storm Bolt on the Lich. Another coil is arriving though. Until Happy have statues, he can continue doing this. I don't know why Todd doesn't want to commit now. I know I said earlier he, as long as he keeps his head cool, he will win this. But I feel like he's uh, he's giving Happy way too much space at the moment. Like if he really decides to press forward, there's no way Happy can go. MK is buying a heal scroll. Stonebolt on the Dark Ranger from downtown. Blizzard is raining down. Oh, we are glitching. There's the Avatar. 
And the MK with the ulti. Another Stormboard on the A-bomb. Is Happy gonna waste a coil? No. He keeps the coils for the heroes, I'm sure. And this is it. One statue, one destroyer. Acolytes and triple heroes. Cross Nova coil. More sorceresses are falling down. Unfortunately for Happy though. Colt scored 3.9k gold at the expansion still. So he will go nowhere. I think like Todd is just toying with Happy at the moment. And that's more and more Blizzard falling down. And now Happy uses those Acolytes for more Dark Ritual on the Lich. And the Blizzard continues to rain down. And Happy somehow nuke one of the heroes. We haven't had a hero kill in the game yet. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so stressful. Happy continues to find kills, by the way. I mean... What he has achieved so far in this game is nothing short of spectacular. Happy, you mad man. This is why... This is why, guys, even today, I cheer for Happy and Lin so heavily when it comes to high-level tournaments because I appreciate the excellence that those two are giving us to the game. They literally have perfected Warcraft 3 play style at the highest level literally in every sense of the word it doesn't get any better any higher skilled than watching happy and lin playing warcraft at their best because they all get their days off of course every player got that uh, especially lin nowadays he will be a bit less consistent i'd say in comparison to happy but still very very consistent okay and it's amazing what he's been doing. Hold on. Hold now. All of a sudden. Going in braver for the Lich. And I'm afraid Happy doesn't have any more coils. And now he is cornered. Not really. The Black Citadel. Firing at the human army. Todd decides to pull back again. Slow on the Dark Ranger. Storm bolt. Happy though with the coil yet again. The shop is still here. By the way. But there's no more money. And our blizzard. There's Invo Potion on the Lich. We shouldn't forget that. More and more blizzard is falling down. Happy is trying to tire Todd by the way. And by killing. Continuously killing units. It's not impossible. Okay invisibility from the sorceress. On the MK. Oh, this is very good. Storm Bolt right next to the Lich. And the Blizzard is raining as well. Slow from the Sorceress. Oh, the Lich is in trouble. But he silenced the MK with the Dark Ranger. What a quick reaction from Happy. This is insanity. Guys, we are watching insanity. But when is it Happy going to give up? He cannot surely overcome. And there you go, the GG. He calls it. And told with the victory. Thank you all for watching and listening. I love you. And I'll catch you on the next one.